Hi everyone, this is Dream Seer 444 here to do a general collective reading for you guys. Whew. So, you guys, pardon me, it's been a very long day, but I wanted to make sure that I get this message out that I've gotten for you guys. Because I'm seeing that someone needs to trust their intuition when it comes to a certain individual. I feel that there's a need to realize that you can't fix this person you can't change them and this person has to be accountable for their own healing um there's a need for some of you to set boundaries and set limits when it comes to this person it's okay and it's okay to set boundaries with people sometimes you have to tell them no sometimes you have to protect yourself when you're dealing with a person especially if they're dealing with any codependency um drugs alcohol different types of addictions or if they are um, in situations that are very toxic, unhealthy, that could affect you in a negative way, you have to protect yourself. You know, I've said this in a previous reading, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was for Pisces, that you can't save everybody. So I'm going to say it again. We can't save everybody. You can't fix someone, okay? So it's time to surrender the idea that you can fix a person and surrender to your intuition, and allow yourself to be able to set limits with this particular person. Now, if this is dealing with love, okay, because the lover's card came out, this could be about someone choosing something different, okay? This could be about someone choosing someone else other than you. Um, this could be about someone doing things to get themselves locked up with this imprisonment card. Or this is someone, you know, with false person. Someone who's not being true to who they really are and making decisions that are not healthy. You can't fix this person, guys. That's just the bottom line here. Whatever the situation is with this person, you can't change it. If they didn't choose you and they chose someone else, you know what? They have to deal with the consequences of that. If they are doing things that are causing them to have legal problems and to get locked up or to feel bound up, entrapped, entangled, whatever this is, you can't fix that. This person has to uh, be accountable for his or her own actions and his or her own healing. I know for some of us, we like to try to talk people out and help of their situation and try to help them to see a situation different, but we can't do anything for um, someone who doesn't see an issue with their behavior, okay? Yeah, I feel like someone is longing for you, but I also feel that someone has not been taking care of themselves. Someone has been reckless. Someone has been careless. Okay, this is something that's going on right now. Um, this person, new love in reverse. They could be have gone back dealing with something from their past. Okay, they made a choice to go back. You've got to let them go. Let them go where they where they're going. And you're gonna to have to set boundaries with this person and let them know that they cannot come in and out of your life, okay? Know that you are protected. You are protected from whatever this is with this person. And then you have put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your computer. I feel that for some of you, your person has been doing things online. I really don't feel that it's a... Um, one second, guys. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so I feel that for some of you, your person may have been doing something online. So there may be some information online. Um, regarding what's been going on but um yeah whatever has been happening you guys are protected you're safe and you're being divinely guided in this situation it's just time for you to make a decision when it comes to a particular person because to be honest i feel like for some of you they are you know, doing things against their better judgment. They're doing things that are not um, <laughs> lining up with your values and morals, okay? And they're doing nothing but creating obstacles in your life because of their unhealed wounds. So there's nothing that you can do when it comes to this person but allow them to learn the lessons that they need to learn. And you kind of move out the way when it comes to this because um, you don't want 
whatever it is that they are doing to um, to affect you, if it makes sense. If this resonates with you guys, hit that like button and um, comment on there. I see some of you may be thinking about walking away from a situation, realizing that it's not benefiting you and that this person is not getting any better when it comes to it and comes to a situation and you're moving on to something that's more abundant more fruitful something that's going to be in alignment with what you really want um yeah you have options you have a po different possibilities that you can move towards and you also have a caring connection that is um coming into your life so for those of you that are that are dealing with someone who is having some type of issue with commitment some type of issue with addictions um just know that you have an opportunity to be in a connection that is much more fruitful for you. Okay, use your intuition with the goddess of the moon. Use your intuition so that you can let go of this hostility, of, of all this frustration, okay? And move towards some type of victory that is available towards you. You can't fix this person. You can't fix the situation. Give it over to the Most High and take action towards a new beginning for yourself, okay? Because it is available for you. You're, when it comes to this person, I feel that there are different um, parts of you that have been blocked off because you have been trying to save this person. I mean... You can't do anything about the situation. The community card is out here. Your person may have been very much out there involved with multiple people, involved in third-party situations. It came in reverse. So your person could have been involved in third-party situations and causing all types of um, confusion and havoc in your relationship. And I feel that you are ready to, um, to move on from this. What is this here? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, you're ready for a new beginning in love because you're so sick and tired of it. You have to come to the terms that you can't change. You can't do anything about this situation. This, this person has to get healed from their own um, childhood issues, okay? And you may be full of regret because maybe you've given this person chance after chance, but they continue to bring conflict and confusion into your life. Okay, so when are you going to know your worth? When are you going to know that you're worthy of a new beginning in love? When are you going to know that you're worth fighting for? You're worth someone coming in for, to, to, to help you and to save you. And when are you going to put an end to this cycle with this world card? It's all on you. It's all on you. I'm speaking to someone who has been going back and forth with someone who has been nothing but hot and cold the entire time someone's been coming in and out of your life creating havoc this person will tell you that they're ready to be um this the man they or the woman that you need them to be they're they're ready to be there for their children they're ready to be there for their family but even though they talk as though they are the emperor they are the knight of wands okay and you're watching them and you can see like this person is not this person is not doing what they say and they may come in and they come in sweet and and somewhat genuine to make this offer towards you but you know you have to know intuitively this person is not healed this person has not changed and there's nothing that you can do about it okay so there may be an offer from a king of cups who may have betrayed you okay in the past the ten of swords this person may come to you um, talking marriage, wanting to um, have victory and success with you. Six of Pentacles in reverse. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, guys. But this person, even though they want to come in and make this offer to you, this King of Cups, and uh, even, even if he has a lot of love for you, this person is not willing to give equally. And I feel like for many of you, that's the issue. This person um, has something going on in their life and they're not just not able or not willing to give to you. You may have known this person a long time. You could be married to this person. 
you may have uh, really invested a lot when it comes to this person. But for some reason, yeah, with the high priest, you know that this person is withholding, withholding information, keeping things from you. And you want the truth with this queen of swords. You, I feel that for many of you, you're sick and tired of it. You're ready to cut this person out. You're no longer willing to even try to fix the situation or balance it out. You just want to move on so that you can totally heal with the star card. Okay? You just want to move on. Um, but it's important for you to know that when it comes to this person, they are in their shadow side. They are dealing with a, a, a dark side of them, a dark entity most likely, that, you know, really consumes them. And... Even though they may have a lot of love for you, this person, look at the Two of Cups, this person has love for you. They seem to be stuck. Look at this, Ace of, Ace of Swords. This is the truth here. <laughs> Three of Cups. They may be stuck in a situation. Um, for some of you dealing with multiple people, and until they let go, until they're ready to let go, you're going to have to set boundaries with this person. You know, you have to protect yourself. So this person is in a very selfish energy. They um, are only thinking about their needs, their wants. And, you know, you don't want to get caught up in that, okay? So trust your intuition when it comes to this person in a hermit mode. This person, you know, might have ghosted you or you just may need to take time off to yourself so that you can really look at this situation from a different perspective. You know, you really need to look at this situation. I know that the... Um, I know that that card didn't come out, but it's like it may be a need for you to really go within to really see what's going on when it comes to this situation. Because the last thing I want is for you to be hurt because someone else has these deep, dark um, wounds that they need healing in their own life, right? Okay, so with the chariot, you may need to just move forward quickly. Could be dealing with a cancer sign. Let's see here. King of Swords, you may need to move quickly and really think logically about this and really um, bring justice and balance into your own life by, by letting this situation go so this person um, figures it out for themselves, okay? I hope this makes sense for you guys. It's a lot of cards. Yeah. So yeah, guys, trust your intuition and realize that you can't fix this person. You can't do anything about then they have to be willing to work on them uh, their own self, okay? You have a spark of divine. I reignite the divine spark within me and recognize I am part part of all creation. You have a bigger purpose here. You you can't be spending your time dealing with this type of stuff. There's more in this life for you to do, okay? So open your heart to your guides and trust the wisdom that they are sharing with you. Because I feel that your spirit guides are speaking to you. It's just time for you to trust in what you're feeling. Okay, that's why you have trust your intuition here. It may be a need for you to meditate to allow the universal wisdom to flow within you. I know this may be difficult to let go of someone who you truly love. But you know that holding on to them is only keeping you stagnant. Because you are an earth angel. You are a guardian of mother earth. And you protect all who live on, you know, live in, who are in your life. Okay, the card says, I am a guardian of mother earth and protect all who live on her. So you have a desire to protect this person, be there for this person. But at this point, because you have so much more to do in this life, you have to let this person learn the lessons for themselves. Okay, all right. And crown chakra, I know I am a part of source and my life is guided by divine wisdom. Be guided by the wisdom that you are being being given, okay? And you have release. Number 28, I release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love. Everyone, I know that it may be difficult for you in this situation, for those of you who are dealing with this, but I feel that it is time for you to face the truth regarding the people that you are dealing with. At the bottom of the 
the um, deck, you have Ace of Cups. There is a new beginning for you, okay? Even if you have to be single, you're going to be abundant, okay? Until you receive the, that passionate new love that is available for you, okay? It's time for you to let go of those who are sneaky and deceptive and those who use all different types of manipulative tactics to try to get your attention. Those who choose you, but at the same time, they have someone else right there in their other hand, all right? So communication may come in from someone from your path wanting a new beginning, wanting to work on things with you, talking about investing with you, but use your intuition when it comes to the situation because it may be time for you to walk away before you get brokenhearted again or this person binds you up into some type of mental entrapment because you are full of love and your life deserves to be balanced and you deserve the Ten of Cups, okay? You are the Empress. Don't allow anyone to have you in the five of pentacles, keeping you out in the cold and then running away and leaving and ending things as if it's okay and having you full of anxiety and full of burdens, okay? Because they've been keeping secrets from you. Put on your strength, okay? Be willing to start this new beginning, okay? Because it's going to bring you stability and abundance. You won't be confused any longer when it comes to this situation. If you just go within, go within. I leave it there, guys. I wish you the best. If this resonates for you, like, share, and I'll see you on the next one.